Hello my dear students, welcome back to my class, Easy Maths by Sukumar. How are you students? This is Sukumar, Mathematics teacher. Before we start our class, I request everyone, please like, share and subscribe my channel. If you have any doubts, please mention in the comment box. Thank you very much. See my dear students, in the last class, we have discussed about Pythagoras theorem and its converse. See, now we are going to solve exercise 8.4 for AP board students and exercise 6.5 for CBC students but I am not starting the first, second, third sums I will do the sums in the coming videos why because this fourth and fifth sums fourth and fifth sums are similar to the Pythagoras theorem the steps what we have used in Pythagoras theorem the same steps we use here, here also in the fourth and fifth sum okay see if Coming to the CBSC also, see my dear students, the second sum, this is the second sum in exercise 6.5, the second and third sums are exactly similar to the Pythagoras theorem, that means the proof of Pythagoras theorem, the steps what are involved in the Pythagoras theorem, the same steps we are using here, for easy remembrance, I am doing the, this fourth sum now, fourth and fifth sums, later we can solve the first and first, second, third sums and we can continue that sixth onwards, sixth sums onwards, right. See my dear students here, what is Pythagoras theorem? How do you prove the Pythagoras theorem? Actually what is the statement? In a right angle triangle, the square of hypotenuse is equal to sum of the squares of other two sides. That means this is a right angle here. See this is a triangle, ABC is a triangle, right angle triangle, angle B is 90 degrees. So this is the hypotenuse, that means the square of hypotenuse is equal to sum of the squares of other two sides. This is the main theorem of the Pythagoras theorem, right. Coming to the converse, coming to the converse, in a triangle, the square of one side is equal to sum of the squares of other two sides, then the angle opposite to the first side is a right angle, that is the converse of Pythagoras theorem, okay. See my dear students, we, the steps as I told you in the Pythagoras theorem, the same steps here also we use for, the, for solving or for proving this second sum in exercise 6.5, right. Here the statement says, triangle P, PQR is a triangle right angle at P, okay, I will draw a figure like this here, PQR is a right angle triangle. PQ are right angle at P, that means this is P, this is Q and this is R. So PQR is a right angle triangle and right angled at P and M is a point on QR, this is M, M is a point on QR such that this PM is perpendicular to QR, this PM is perpendicular to PR, QR. So we have to prove here PM square is equal to QM into MR. Okay my dear students, what is given here? In given, what is given here my dear students? PQR is a triangle, in triangle PQR, in triangle PQR, angle P is equal to 90 degrees. Angle P is equal to 90 degrees. And what is to be proved here? To prove what is to be proved here? This PM square is equal to QM into MR. I forgot to write one more thing here in the given statement. What is that? That PM is perpendicular to QR. PM is perpendicular to QR. Okay, my dear students. Now we start the proof now. See, in the proof here, my dear students, what we have to prove here, this PM is PM square is equal to QM times MR, right. Now here we will take the two triangles like the proof of the Pythagoras theorem. What are the two triangles here? RMP in triangle RMP and triangle RPQ. Triangle RPQ. Take the two triangles RMP and RPQ. In these two triangles, my dear students, let us prove these two triangles are similar to each other. How do you prove here in RMP and RPQ? Here this ang angle R is equal to angle R. This is common angle. 
This is the common angle of for both the triangles. R M P and R P Q. This is the common angle. Angle R is the common angle. Similarly, how do you prove that? This angle, what R M P is equal to angle R P Q. Both are equal to 90 degrees. This is given in the statement. Therefore, according to AS similarity, triangle R M P. is similar to triangle rpq why the reason is ya similarity since ya similarity theorem the two triangles are similar to each other whenever the two triangles are similar okay leave it here this is equation number 1 see my dear students these same steps we used in pythagoras theorem also same there abc is a right angle triangle Here we take D there. BD is perpendicular. We draw there no BD in the construction. Do you remember that? BD is perpendicular to BC like that. Okay, the same steps we use there. We took triangle ABB and triangle ABC like that. Okay. Now here in the Pythagoras theorem, what we have taken there? The other two triangles PMQ. in triangle pmq and triangle prpq so as i told you the order we should not forget the order pmq the corresponding sides or vertices pmq and rpq here also have taken in triangle pmq and rpq right here see what are the common angles here angle q is equal to angle q these are common angles common angles these are common angles what next my dear students angle rpq is equal to angle pmq this is given in the statement since given in the statement okay my dear students now these two triangles triangle pmq is similar to triangle rpq since ya ya similarity theorem this is equation number 2 Now, my dear students, if you observe the two triangles, tri R triangle RMP is similar to RPQ. Here, triangle PMQ is similar to triangle RPQ. In the both the right hand sides, here RPQ, here RPQ. Okay, that means from one and two, what do you write here? From one and two, from one and two, my dear students. This RMP, that means RMP. triangle rmp is similar to triangle rmp is similar to triangle rpq sorry pmq this is similar to triangle pmq from 1 and 2 what is the conclusion here rmp is similar to triangle pmq so if two triangles are similar the corresponding sides are proportional therefore rm by pm is equal to pm by mq i have taken only the two corresponding ratios of the two triangles right now by cross multiplication here my dear students pm into pm i forgot to write the reason here why this rm by pm is equal to pm by mq corresponding sides corresponding sides corresponding sides are proportional <coughs> that means pm into pm is equal by cross multiplication is equal to rm into mq okay that is implies pm into pm that means pm square is equal to rm into mq so what we have to prove here qm into mr both are same this is qm this mq can be written as qm this rm also Equal to M R M R. Hence, it is proved. I hope you understand this theorem, my dear students. For for AP board students, and this is the third question, third question for CBSC students in exercise six point five. Right. A B C D is a triangle, right angle at A. Right angle at A. And AC is perpendicular to BD. This AC is perpendicular to BD. 
शो दैट ए बी स्क्वेयर इज इक्वल टू बी सी इंटू बी डी एंड ए सी स्क्वेयर इज इक्वल टू बी सी इंटू डी सी एंड ए डी स्क्वेयर ए डी स्क्वेयर इज इक्वल टू बी डी इंटू सी डी ओके माई डे स्टूडेंट हियर जस्ट आई एम चेंजिंग द फिगर जस्ट लाइक दिस द सेम फिगर बट आई एम चेंजिंग द डायरेक्शन लाइक दिस हियर ए दिस इज नॉट ए दिस इज ए बी ये एंड दिस इज बी सी जस्ट आई एम चेंज इन द डायरेक्शन लाइक दिस वाई वी यूज द दिस टाइप ऑफ फिगर ट्राइंगल राइट एंगल ट्राइंगल टू प्रूव द फाइथोग्रस थीरम राइट नाउ माई डे स्टूडेंट्स हियर दिस इज द ट्राइंगल द सेम ट्राइंगल ओके राइट for clear understanding for make it easy just i am using the same figure the figure what we have used in pythagoras theorem right my dear students here what is given here abc is a triangle right angle at capital a that means in triangle abc angle a is equal to 90 degrees and what next here this ac is perpendicular to bd this ac is perpendicular to bd right now here my dear students to prove first one we will take the first one here what is the first one ab square is equal to bc into bd bc into bd this is the second step second equation of pythagoras theorem right see here to prove this one my dear students we will take the two triangles two triangles the same process in the previous sum that means i mean the fourth sum right so in triangle we will take the two triangles in triangle acb and triangle dab take the two triangles so the order is you must maintain the order here like this ACB and DAB, right here. Now we are going to prove these two triangles are similar to. Is let it be equation three and this is equation four. Right, just observe equation three and equation four. Have you observed here? This is triangle ACB similar to triangle DAB. Here in equation four, triangle DCA is similar to triangle DAB. That means this ACB is similar to triangle DC. You know, my dear students. So that is from three and four. From three and four, equation three and equation four, triangle ACB is triangle ACB is similar to triangle DCA. This is triangle DCA. Okay. So these two triangles are similar, like previous sum. This is the the solution the proof is the exactly coincide coincides with the previous sum right so here these two triangles are similar therefore corresponding sides are proportional here corresponding sides corresponding sides are proportional corresponding sides are proportional i forgot to write here also Here also corresponding sides. Corresponding sides are proportional. Here also corresponding sides. Corresponding sides. Yeah, here, here, and here also we use the corresponding sides, right? See, corresponding sides are proportional. Therefore, here A C by what? D C is equal to ए बी बाई ए डी इज इक्वल टू ए सी बाय डी सी इज इक्वल टू वॉट ए बी बाय ए डी इज इक्वल टू बी सी बाय बी सी बाय ए सी ओके लेट एस टेक द एक्सट्रीम्स फर्स्ट एंड लास्ट वन दट मीन्स ए सी इंटू ए सी इज इक्वल टू दिस इज एम्प्लाइज ए सी इंटू ए सी इज इक्वल टू डी सी इंटू बी सी That means A C square is equal to D C into B C. So what we have to prove in the second one, 
AC square is equal to BC into DC. Hence, it is proved.